Earlier this year, Mahindra had confirmed the launch of its new 2018 Mahindra XUV 500 with a whole new look. The modified headlamps and tooth grille will remind you of the Mahindra Imperio Vega. The front and fog lamps do have a C shape. Available in a two-tone color, the beast will spot a black contrasting color on the roof and pillars. The interiors will also boast of new upholstery and an updated instrument cluster and support for Apple CarPlay in the infotainment unit. The diesel engine too will be upgraded, which will be followed by the petrol variant as well. The facelift will be available between 12 lakh 12,948 and 18 lakh 5,904. Now, isn't this exciting? Do let us know by commenting in the section below. Suzuki S Cross has got a new facelift complete with a new front end, waterfall grille supported by newly designed LED headlamps and integrated LED DRLs. The bumper too sports a new style. Look. The two creases on the hood give a new life to the beast and the side sport 17-inch alloy wheels. The brake lights too have been incorporated with LED lamps. Presently, the Suzuki SX4 is available in Taiwan markets only and is slated to reach the Indian subcontinent sometime in Diwali. This news has been confirmed by the executive director of Maruti Suzuki and hearing this, we simply can't contain our excitement. Can you? Do let us know by commenting in the section below. Suzuki has recently shared an image of the 2018 Suzuki Swift Sport, which will make its debut at the 2017 Frankfurt Motor Show. With a more angular design and a more aggressive look, the beast has a bigger radiator grille and a different look. The honeycomb fog lamp adds a dash of freshness to the look. The interiors will have an all-black theme with a stainless steel sport pedal, leather upholstery and a sport seat with contrast stitches. The 2018 Suzuki Swift Sport will have a new 1.4-litre turbocharged engine. Slated to make its debut on 12 September 2017, it will be sold globally as well. Going by the specifications, we are sure that it will be a rate with all auto lovers, don't you think so? Do let us know by commenting in the section below. The all-new DSK Benelli 302R is launched in India and on this special occasion, Shirish Kulkarni, the chairman of DSK Motor Wheels, introduced the piece saying, the DSK Benelli 302R is our first fully fed super bike which is set to alter the paradigm of the mid-size segment in the country. This market is highly lucrative with widespread demand and DSK Benelli is perfectly poised to capture a lion's share of the segment with the 302R joining our existing and highly successful lineup of Superbike. This bike is available at Rs 3.48 lakh and has a curb weight of 198 kg. The bike is ideal for sport touring and has a 14-litre fuel tank. With a ground clearance of 150 mm and a wheelbase of 1410 mm, this beauty will soon make heads turn as it zooms on the streets. So are you excited about it? Do let us know by commenting in the section below. Volvo will soon mark its presence in the small, premium SUV segment with its new XC40. Targeting a younger market, the compact model will be unveiled at the Frankfurt Motor Show. The model will also have a 180 HP hybrid version with a 7-speed automatic sending power to the front wheels. The XC40 will be available in three variants, Momentum, R Design and Inscription, and this entry-level trim will truly cater to the fashion-conscious youth. Indeed, its specifications will give tough competition to Jaguar E-Pace, Mercedes-Benz GLA, BMW X1, Audi Q3 and the Range Rover Evo. Well, we hope that the makers ensure that it falls well within the budget of the urban youth who would not mind spending a bomb to lay their hands on this classy beast. So are you excited to see the first look of the Volvo XC40? Do let us know by commenting in the section below. It's great news for all Renault lovers for its new quid hatchback will now cost only 2.62 lakh as against the earlier 2.65 lakh. The revised prices will help buyers to save between 5,200 and 9,500 depending on the state the beast is purchased as well as the variant. The quid faced neck-to-neck competition from brands like Maruti Suzuki Alto 800, Alto K10 and Datsun Ready Go. Ever since its launch, the hatchback has recorded a sales of more than 17,500 and now the revised price, all thanks to the GST, is leaving automobile lovers delirious with delight. So are you one of them? Do let us know by commenting in the section below. 
The new Datsun Redeco 1.0L has been launched in India and will be available at all Nissan dealerships Pan India. Available at around 3,57,333, the Datsun boasts of LED TRLs, central docking, keyless entry, black interior with silver finish on the AC pens and horn pad and driver side airbag. With a 68 PS at 550 RPM and 91 Nm torque at 4250, the Datsun will truly be a hit in the Indian subcontinent. Presently, the beast is available only in the O Crate and is great with the latter costing 3,72,238 in contrast to the former's pricing of 3,57,333. With the festive season on the verge of commencing, we are sure that most families would love to own this beast. Don't you think? So, having grabbed a sizable market share from Tata Motors in the mini truck space, Mahindra and Mahindra will now challenge the country's largest commercial vehicle maker in growing minivan space with the introduction of Cheeto Minivan. Launched at a price of Rs 3.45 lakh, the diesel version of Cheeto is priced at Rs 25,000 more than its rarest rival Tata Magic Iris. Mahindra claims the Cheeto van offers higher mileage power and comfort and the prospective buyer can earn Rs 1 lakh more over a period of two years versus Magic Iris due to faster turnaround time and more seating capacity. The new Mahindra Jito minivan comes with two engine options and three fuel choices diesel, petrol and CNG. The diesel model, which is likely to be the top-selling variant, is powered by the company's 655cc M Dura direct injection engine that is BS4 compliant. The motor is powerful enough to churn out about 16 bhp and develop 38 Nm of peak torque. The engine also offers a class-leading mileage of 26 kmpl. As mentioned before, Mahindra also offers petrol and CNG models of the Cheeto Mini Pan, which will be rolled out later. Honda showcased a new direction for America's retail best-selling midsize sedan with the world debut of a more stylish, sporty and premium 2018 Honda Accord that launches this fall. The new Accord features new engines including new turbocharged gasoline power plants, available hybrid powertrains and a 10-speed automatic transmission. Here's the latest from Honda. The 10th generation Accord is new from the ground up and features a lighter and more rigid body structure and advanced new chassis design. To all new high torque directed injected and turbocharged engines, the world's first 10 speed automatic transmission for a front drive car, and a new generation of Honda's two motor hybrid technology, along with a host of new safety, driver assisted, and connected car technologies, all wrapped in a more sophisticated, sleek, and athletic design with top class interior space and comfort. The 2018 Honda Accord measures 192.1 inches in length, 73.2 inch in width, and 57. 7.1 inch in height and has a wheelbase of 111.4 inches. On the outside, it gets 9 lamp full LED headlights, LED fog lights, 19 inch alloy wheels, and LED tail lamp. Comfort convenience features include dual zone automatic climate control, ambient interior lighting, remote engine start, and push button start. MV Augusta has launched its Brutale 800 at an ex-showroom price of Rs 15.59 lakh, making it the most affordable offering from the exotic Italian bike maker. The Brutale 800 sits below the existing F3 800 middleweight super sport which cost nearly Rs 1.5 lakh more than the new offering. Based on a revised platform, the new model gets a sharp design that seeks to reflect the agility of the bike. The Brutale 800 has been built on a steel trellis structure with a bolted cast aluminium rear frame. The minimalistic styling comes with a well-sculpted fuel tank and several sleek panels. The bike also receives MV Augusta's signature three-pipe exhaust. The rear gets a single-sided swing arm with adjustable rear monoshock, which also adds a style statement to one of the best-looking motorcycles in the segment. The front comes suspended on adjustable 43mm inverted fork and the front disc brakes also get racing-type radial calipers. Mercedes-Benz has unveiled its first-ever pickup truck, which the company calls the X-Class. First shown as a concept version at a presentation in Stockholm in 2016, the X-Class is a rugged, all-terrain pickup that can also be used as a vehicle for urban lifestyles. It consists of a ladder-type frame, red multi-link solid axle, front independent wheel suspension and coil springs on both axles, which ensure the car to provide a better off-road experience. 
As per the company claims, the X-Class can haul a payload of up to 1.1 ton. That is enough to transport 17 full 50-litre barrels of beer in the cargo area. The company also claims that it can also pull a trailer containing three horses or an 8-meter yacht. The X-Class is the only mid-size pickup to be equipped with Lightning in the cargo area as standard. The third brake light contains LED lights which illuminate the whole load bed. Inside, the X-Class comes with a 5.4-inch color multimedia display that is nestled between the analog round dials that are inspired by the C-Class and B-Class. It also gets autonomous emergency braking, forward collision warning and lane-keeping assistance systems in combination with a suit of 7 airbags. After years of build-up and honing in the world of rallying, Hyundai has finally kicked off its long-awaited high performance and division. The new sub-brand charges out of the gates with the i30N, an ambitious five-door hatchback that seemingly splits the crown between Honda's new Civic Si and Civic Type R models. The i30N features a high-output version of Hyundai's familiar 2.0-litre GDI four-cylinder tuned to deliver up to 276 horsepower and 260 pound-feet of torque when equipped with an optional performance pack. 0 to 62 mph is estimated at 6.1 seconds. The less powerful stand i30N still delivers 250 HP and the same torque enough to hit 62 mph in 6.4 seconds. Like many of its rivals, the i30N is only available with a 6-speed manual and it delivers power exclusively to the front wheels. Front wheel drive is always a recipe for driving greatness but like rivals, the i30N was extensively tuned on Germany's famed Nürburgring circuit and its development has been overseen by Alfred Biermann, formerly the boss at BMW.